All right, we are going to sketch a graph of uh, this equation right here. This is the ninth one on the T4 practice. So I know a couple of things. Uh, one thing that I know is my midline. So at negative 110, I have my midline. I, and I'll just make it, I'll make it, I'll try and make it flat and dashed. And then I have this offset of 55. So I know I'm going to go up 55 and down 55 from that midline. So that puts me up here. Let's see. At negative 55. And that puts me down here at negative uh, 165. So there's my y value is kind of kind of framed out. And so now if I actually want to graph it, I know that it's sine. I know that sine starts in the middle. I also know that it's a negated sine. So where a sine usually goes like this, if it's negated, it's going to be uh, flipped that way. So sine will start at the middle. Instead of going up like it usually does, it, since it's been negated, it'll go down and then back up and then up and then back down. So it'll look a little bit something like that. So now I have this framed out. I know those y values. Uh, let me get those x values. And I'm going to get that by um, looking at the period. So the period is usually 2 pi. But this is uh, being multiplied by that pi over 45. So I'm going to see how many times that goes into 2 pi. And 2 pi divided by that is the same as, as 2 pi times 45 over pi. Pi's drop out, 2 times 45 is 90. So I actually have now a period of 90. So let me break that up. That means I start at 0. Well, if I didn't have all the other stuff, this function would start at 0 and then start repeating itself at 90. So half of 90 is 45. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I have an idea. Um, half of 90 is 45. Half of 45, oh, it's that half of 45 uh, 22.5 and I know this is jumping up by 22.5 each time so um, 45 plus that 22.5 uh, 87.5 no how about 67 you actually add them together 67.5 so that is that those are my four kind of points if I don't do the shift but this has been shifted it's been shifted to the left 40 so I need to subtract 40 from each of these. Sorry, try to write it legibly. Subtract 40 from each of those. So let's get on this. 0 minus 40 is negative 40. Uh, 22.5 minus 40 is negative uh, 17.5. 45 minus 40 is 5. 67.5 minus 40 is 27.5. And then 90 minus 40 is 50. So there's my x values for my for my important points. So my first point here is at um, negative 40, and but a height of negative 110. This one is a negative 17.5, a height of negative 165. This one here, uh, 5, negative 110. Gonna erase that. So I have my next one is 27.5 up here at negative 55. And then my last point, uh, the x coordinate is 50 and the y part is negative 110. There's my sketch right there. Oh, it's beautiful.